Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some settings to make your life easier with FreeCAD when selecting edges, vertices, points in sketches, etc. This video will allow you to set settings such as the pick radius for selecting edges with ease, like so, and the vertices. So I'm just selecting close to these points and edges, and you can see I'm selecting them with ease. This also applies to sketches. So I was in the sketcher. Let's get rid of this cube and create a sketch. Center the view quickly. And we'll create a square. You notice that I can snap to these lines and the center point quite easily. And this means that I can snap other geometry to this quite easily as well. We'll be showing some other settings in this video as well to make your life a lot easier when viewing and selecting points, vertices, edges, and sketch geometry. So I hope you enjoy these videos and let's have a look at these settings in more detail. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. So these settings are available from edit and preferences. And we've got a host of icons along the left hand side and tabs along the top. The first setting we're going to look at is changing the size of the vertices and edges. For that, we come down to the part slash part design icon on the left hand side here. This is also for draft geometry and any of the other workbenches that are available in FreeCAD. If we come up to the tab shape appearance, you'll find line width and vertex size within. These can be changed. So I'm just going to set mine from two to four. And this will change any new shapes that you add to FreeCAD. That's okay that. You see this cube hasn't changed. If I click on it, you see the cube. If we look at the view, it is still set to line width of two and a point size of two. Any new geometry we add, like this one here, will change. And you'll be able to see the line width here of four and the point size also is four. If we have multiple geometry, as in this cube, I'm just gonna control C and control V that a number of times and transform some of these. If we have multiple geometry in here that we've already added and we want to change the current geometry point size and edge size, then we can do that by multi-selecting all of these by shift selecting and coming down and changing the line width and the point size or mass, like so. So this doesn't change the point size on sketches though. So if I come to the sketch now, though we set the point size and the line size to four, if I create a new sketch and create it along the XY plane or any plane that we see fit, then you'll notice that if I lay some geometry down here, the point size at the moment, I've already upped that point size. And this is available, edit preferences, not from the sketch, the sketch icon down here, but actually from the display. And within we can see marker size. So I've got mine set to 13 here. If I drop this down to five pixels, apply that, and then look, I can't actually Pull it over to the left hand side, that's okay that. You can see that the marker size, of those point sizes has dropped. You notice that the constraint size is still large here. This is a different setting altogether. Let's go back, edit preferences, come to display and bring back the marker size and I'm going to set it to 13 pixels and okay that. And you see the marker size for those points has been increased. 
the constraint size. Go to edit, preferences. This is actually on the sketcher. So click on the sketcher. Come over to display. And the font size controls both label and constraints within the sketcher. So if I drop this down to say 12 pixels and OK that, you see the constraint size has dropped and you notice that the font size over the pointer has changed as well. Come back to edit preferences and let's increase that back up to say 20 pixels and apply that. So you can now see the font size is larger and the constraint size is also larger as well. I've come out the sketcher and I can select these edges quite easily by hovering over the mouse over the edge and clicking. But it can be quite hard to set, say, the vertex. The vertex just here, you can see we're having trouble selecting that. If I zoom in, then we probably can get it at some point, but it's causing us a bit of a problem there. We can increase that vertex size, going to the point size, say set it to eight, so you can see the vertex on the edge there. But it still can be quite hard to select that vertex. So how do we select those vertices easily? Well, there is something called pick radius. The pick radius is also in the preferences, edit preferences. And if we come up to general, we have got this selection tab. Within selection tab, we've got pick radius. So this setting is the area for picking elements in the 3D view. Let's set this to 15 and okay that. Now what happens if I hover close to one of these lines and just click, it will select the edge or the vertex within the vicinity of the pick radius. So I'm not actually selecting on top of that point, I'm just selecting by the side. And I'm able to select those edges and vertices quite easy. Even when I drop down the point size to say two where it was before and the line width of two, I can quite easily come in and select those points on those ends and the lines quite easily. So if I had a 3D object, let's go back to the part and put a cube on the screen, and we can see I've still got the settings from the preferences that I set before. So let's set this to something like line went for two, leave the point size as is, so we can see that quite easily. I click near to that point and you can see those vertices are easily selectable. Same with the edges. The faces we have to move away. Now one thing to remember is places like this where we're quite close to the vertex and these lines, then we may have troubles selecting which one we want. So you will have to zoom in to create some separation. Now, if I create another cube and transform it, we can see that as a demonstration. So I'm just going to put these quite close to each other, like so. Something like that, okay. So what we've got now is this division between these two edges. And if I wanted to select this edge, then I have to be underneath it to select it. So you can see where the problems can start occurring. If we got lots of edges going this way, it can be quite hard to pick which one we want with the pick radius. That's easily solved by just zooming in. And then our pick radius was here. And we just have a quite easy pick radius to pick those elements. If we zoom out, obviously our pick radius envelopes more edges and we got more of a chance of not selecting the one we want. So just zooming in 
and we can select quite easily. Let's go to the sketcher. So let's get rid of those and create a new sketch. XY plane, OK. And center on screen. So if I draw a square now, you can see that the snapping is kicking in there as well. So the pick radius, you can see, kicks in as a snap when we're in the sketcher. Let's get rid of that and change the pick radius. Edit, preferences, general selection, and let's set this to say 40 and OK that. Now, if I create the square, you can see that it gets within 40 pixels and it starts snapping. So this is really handy if you want that snapping ability. Go back to preferences and just lower this to say something like 15. Hit OK. And we've got that snapping with less pixels. Again, we zoom in and add the square. Let's say the square here, and we add another one. We get a snap to that line. Zooming out, and then we've got less control, results in less accuracy. Controls add that. First we zoom in, it becomes more accurate because we're in closer. So we just have to be wary of the pick radius, snapping to objects that we don't want. Just by zooming in, we can get closer and therefore the pick radius has less chance of enveloping other geometry. So there are a few settings to help you. So there are a few settings to help you with FreeCAD changing the size and the pick radius for the selection of edges, vertices and points within the sketcher. I hope that video was useful and I hope to see you again in the new one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.